Hello, uh, my name is uh, Alexander Stefanov and uh, I am a senior software developer at uh, Virtuoso. Uh, probably uh, you know this company by technology OpenVZ. Um, well, well, we are most know uh, just like an OpenVZ. Well, and uh, Virtuoso, it is uh, our commercial uh, product. Uh, well, let's start. Um, uh, at first, uh, um, uh, we need to get rid about uh, of the confusion. What is containers? Usually, people think that uh, containers it's uh, something about uh, uh, Docker, uh, but in fact, uh, um, uh, container uh, the, the term container uh, in the virtualization world uh, lives uh, much longer than Docker exists. Um, uh, and uh, traditionally, it used for um, lightweight virtualization. Lightweight, uh, it's um, uh, if we compare it with uh, virtualization, trust the hypervisor. Um, uh, when we, when you create, um, when you, when you create a heavy virtual machine, heavy, uh, heavy, it's uh, uh, when machine emulates uh, and uh, uh, CPU. Uh, RAM, uh, PCI, and uh, other stuff. Uh, uh, well, in uh, contrast, uh, a container virtualization is uh, uh, almost a virtual machine which uh, runs on the same kernel. For example, uh, if you run Linux, uh, then you're able to run uh, uh, Linux containers and can't, and can't run uh, something else like Solaris, for example, RBSD. Um, well, um, the, um, um, containers uh, exist not only in the uh, Linux world, but of course in BSD and uh, Solaris and probably other don't know what's uh, going on in Marcos. <laughs> probably they invent uh, own bicycle. <laughs> um, well, this uh, technology uh, consumes much less uh, resources uh, than uh, heavy, hyper, uh, heavy VMs via hypervisor. And um, 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 uh, often this, uh, like uh, various uh, uh, web, uh, web hosting providers, uh, because uh, they want to run a lot of uh, uh, lightweight containers, then uh, run uh, less, uh, less amount of virtual machines. And they trying to reduce their costs. Um, um, well, this uh, technology exists uh, uh, about uh, 15, 15 years, yes, uh, and uh, of course it's LXC, Docker, and uh, our project Virtuoso, and uh, open, our open source project Open OpenVZ. Um, um, well, um, uh, uh, at first, need to say why uh, Docker became so popular. Um, uh, it's um, because uh, it's an easy way to run user applications. For example, uh, if you um, uh, when the, uh, when you need to run um, a database, for, for example, if you need to run a database, you just uh, like to isolate it in one single and simple container. Um, and if uh, 15 years ago uh, the launch of the operating system with an other operating system, it was wow, uh, but nowadays it's uh, uh, not so wow. Well, <laughs> and I, wanna, I, wanna, I can say that it's uh, pretty far from wow uh, because uh, yeah, people and uh, users are lazy and they don't want to install uh, don't want to download an ISO, install it, uh, then uh, update. Uh, uh, of course, uh, ISO is updated often, uh, don't, and users don't want to install it. Um, well, and uh, it's uh, a reason uh, because uh, Docker and containers are so popular. Um, um, Yes, users need software. Um, 
well, uh, how to deliver um, how to deliver a software to a cont to, to container. Uh, there is uh, much uh, ways. Uh, ways are different. Um, um, mm, well, it's uh, too much ways, and the ways are different. And uh, um, I'm trying uh, to say how to receive it. Wait a moment. Um, well, how uh, how people how users um, um, uh, can uh, can achieve uh, various uh, uh, pre-created VMs? Uh, I I'm talking about uh, templates. Templates, for example, if you want uh, distro Ubuntu. With uh, an uh, with Apache or with Redis database or with Mongo or something else, um, uh, here is uh, of several ways to deploy it. Uh, first, uh, uh, we can pre-create a bunch of VMs. Even, uh, even I can say that it's a zoo a zoo of uh, VMs. For example, uh, VM with uh, Apache, VM with uh, PHP, VM with Ruby, uh, and other. Um, uh, what's wrong here? Um, you need to support and maintain a lot of containers. Uh, you need to pull security fixes. You need to uh, update it. Uh, you need to maintain it. You need to support it. Uh, and uh, uh, when uh, it's uh, uh, too much container with the place, it's, uh, it's just a hell. Um, well, and third way, it's automatic uh, creation after uh, automatic install after cre after uh, container creation. Uh, this way, we are using in Virtuoso. Um, uh, uh, and uh, for, um, for example, if um, uh, you want to create um, an LXC container in uh, Ubuntu uh, with CentOS, uh, it's hard uh, because you need to. Uh, find a way to bootstrap it. Um, if you if you run Ubuntu, uh, you need to install YAM, but uh, YAM has a lot of uh, Python dependencies, probably uh, probably own dependencies, uh, like it uh, like it like uh, yeah, like in, like in CentOS. Um, it's um, difficult. Uh, just trust me, it's very difficult to cr create machine and uh, usually. Uh, uh, usually, uh, in uh, LXC, uh, people prefer download pre-created, pre-created templates, as I said, uh, as, I, as I said uh, on a previous slide. Uh, it's uh, not a good way. <laughs> uh, um, well, in general, uh, put to Linux in the container uh, possible in many, in many ways. Um, the question is uh, how to live after install. Uh, as, I, as I said, need to support it, install updates and uh, do other stuff. Um, in Virtuoso, we organized um, um, uh, such an approach. It is based uh, in, the um, in the first place on the fact that we have for our own uh, uh, set of tools, uh, um, uh, set of tools, and uh, uh, heterogeneous system, and uh, we don't need to uh, reinvent uh, some weird ways to install and execute uh, scripts. Uh, oh yes, and of course you must know how Linux distro works. Um, uh, because of uh, when you unpacking uh, unpacking Linux in container, you uh, need to execute various uh, pre or post uh, uh, pre, -del pre delete uh, scripts and other stuff. It's um, usually it's hard because of uh, uh, every every package manager uh, has own uh, hex <laughs> hex in uh, RPM scripts, and uh, from time to time it's uh, 
um, looks like a hell. Uh, uh, well, what is um, uh, uh, what is um, uh, container container delivering? It's uh, when you unpacking uh, specially prepared uh, archives. Usually, you know it like um, uh, depths are RPM. Well, uh, what it is? Uh, what it is? Uh, RP, for example, what it is? RPM package. It is a CPIO archive uh, that contains special uh, special formatted metadata uh, with uh, build time, with scripts, uh, with uh, triggers, uh, uh, and uh, uh, most important uh, thing. Uh, most most important thing is uh, um, requires. Requ uh, for example. Uh, uh, package bash requires uh, rip uh, read line. Well, and uh, um, most difficult, most difficult here is uh, to unpack uh, unpack container uh, um, in the right order. Um, well, five minutes left. I am trying to hurry up. Um, well, in general, OS installation, it's uh, RPM, deep archive, and packaging in the core sequence. Uh, and uh, of course, with executing scripts and triggers, the, uh, and, and, and packing it at uh, right order. Package full requires library bar. Uh, uh, and uh, in additional special package manager nuances, like uh, what hard coded in RPM RC files, uh, scriptlets, etc. Uh, what we do in uh, <laughs> Virtuoso? Mm, well, we have a special tool that uh, we call VZPG. Um, it's a um, tool written in C and um, uh, part of this tool is a wrapper for specially prepared uh, uh, and modified package manager for various Linux distros. Uh, for example, uh, it's uh, DNF, Yum, Zipper, and etc. Um, uh, and uh, you don't need to pull uh, special pre-created VMs from uh, web hosting. Uh, it's uh, all this stuff you can create on open machine, and uh, you uh, do not need uh, worry, to worry about uh, what's running. What, what's running here? Um, uh, on Virtuoso Linux, you just can create uh, Ubuntu template uh, with uh, absolutely default tools with ZPKG. Well, what we what we have kinds of templates. Uh, we separated two two kinds. It's uh, OS templates and the app templates. For example, OS templates. It's uh, basic basic for Ubuntu. It's a minimal system. Are basic for CentOS. It's uh, Bash and uh, minimal set of tools like Bash, YAM, uh, and probably uh, probably several several others. Uh, in Zoom, it's about uh, 100 packages, not so much. Well, and second, it's, uh, it's an empty place uh, like PHP, Apache, uh, MySQL, Redis, and uh, etc. Well, mm, um, well, how to use it? Uh, uh, it uh, sounds and looks uh, very easy. With EKTL, create a uh, number of your container. Uh, in fact, it's uh, it's just a name, OS template, and uh, you need to put here what you want. Uh, in my example, it's uh, just Ubuntu. Well, second uh, second line, it's um, uh, it's an app template. Well, and uh, third, it's an example of removing. Well, sounds very. Useful and fast. That's all, guys. Thank you. Questions? Alexander, anybody, any questions?
So is is the result uh, actually a different type of container than a Docker template or a Docker container? What was? Is is the resulting container something different than a Docker container? Um, yes, it's uh, Docker. It's um, uh, about um, uh, it's uh, based on the same principles, but uh, Docker is for isolations application for, uh, for application isolation when you need to, to run just a database. Uh, just a simple database. You can run Docker, and uh, you can run Docker inside OpenVZ container, um, just for other purposes. Um, as I said, uh, this uh, technology prefer uh, web hosting providers because they need uh, to run uh, um, um, very much containers on uh, on the hardware, then run uh, uh, less amount of virtual machines. Um, just an OpenVZ, it's for like a small virtual machine, it's not about is uh, not about uh, application isolation. So uh, one last question. Uh, see hand over here. How do you manage repositories and the repository lists? I mean, different versions for for the same package. Uh, uh, re repositories uh, for distros, it's uh, just a standard repositories. So we don't uh, don't invent bicycles here. Just use standard. What uh, distro suggests? Could people try and leave if they want to via that side, so that people coming in can move from that side, please? Because otherwise, it's going to be really busy. So, any more questions, or uh, is this a? Uh, okay. That's all. Thank That's you. That's all the time we have. Uh, thank you all.